Briars here, and in today's YouTube video, we're going to be unboxing my 10th bunny! Oh my goodness, I am so excited. So if y'all don't know, I am obsessed with the bunny mold, and I've always told myself, no, Infinity, I don't conga. Conging is not what I want to do. Well, then Peter Stone so lovingly created the bunny mold, and hmm, here I am in the pit of despair. So another bunny. This is Bunny Bean number 10. I purchased her during the Christmas event that they just had and I'm very excited. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and open her. Oh, also sidetrack, my rainbow Othello came in. He's gonna need a name. All of my rainbow ponies are named after candy. So I've got Skittles, Jelly Bean, and Pop Rocks. So he's gonna need a candy name. Please comment that in the comment section down below. But I wanted to show y'all how glorious he was. His pink tail is my favorite. Back on track. Back to the bunny. Here we go. If you follow me on Instagram, which is at infinity underscore priors, I post on there daily. You'll already know who she is. All right. It's got my receipt and she is in fact the most expensive bunny I have. <laughs> she's so pretty. <laughs> I can't even like see her yet. I just know she's going to be pretty. She is in this bubble wrap. So her name is actually home for the holidays. I don't know if y'all can see that right there, but I am changing that to peppermint mocha and you'll see why in a second. And she was actually a run of 10, I think. So I frantically tried to get her. I was like sitting in bed and my sister came to join me and she was like starting a countdown and I was sweating. I was like, I gotta do it. Shout out to my sister for helping me get her. do not have a bunny with this mane and tail customization yet. The braided bunnies tend to be a lot more expensive, so I have not gotten one yet until now. Oh my goodness, y'all, she's so pretty. What's actually really cool about her is that she was designed by somebody in the community for this art contest that Peter Stone had, what, like last, like 2020, I think? So somebody actually designed this pattern on a Peter Stone standing draft, like the big one, and they brought her to life as a model, and bunnies are my life. I literally told myself I was never gonna conga, and then this mold was invented, and then my bank account cried. So here we are, bunny number 10. Her little braids change colors, and that is amazing. All right, y'all need a close-up of this hottie, so let's get to it. There she is, y'all. I am literally not kidding when I say that I am obsessed with this bean. Look at her. Okay, so we all know that I am obsessed with the bunny mold and they all do have their own scarves made by Mr. Bobby's Models who is now selling scarves. So go check those out, y'all. They are so cute. And she already has a scarf, but Boo is just keeping it safe for her for the time being. All right, let's go ahead and dive in and get a load of those details. To start us off, we're gonna be just checking out the front of her face and look at that nice little bun of a four lock. I literally love that all the Peter Stone molds are able to have different manes and tails. That is literally so cool. As we just kind of move around her face, she does look like she's wearing eyeliner, which I hikey respect because that looks really cool. She does have the usual very detailed Peter Stone eyes, very crisp markings, a little kissy spot. Just check out the shading in her coat. Wow! <laughs> the reason I named her Peppermint Mocha was because her braid look like little peppermints, which are so cute. And then also her coat color reminds me of coffee. Check out how crisp all of her markings are. And as we work our way down, her legs all have very tall socks. And she's just got that normal bunny sass. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Here is a head on of her. She actually has a really complex pattern. Oh, just look at how cool this is. Here's a look at her offside. And with her mane being braided, there's actually still quite a bit that does fall onto this side. So it's not just like a fully braided mane. She does have some that you can still see. Here's a look at her face marking on this side. Some of that gorgeous beige shading as we work our way down to check out those leg markings. So fluffy. And then here's just a look at her shading and markings as we work our way to her booty and then down to her back legs. And as we get that nice booty shot, look at the little braid. It looks like a peppermint. 
it's so small. This is such a cool tail. Like I said earlier, I do not have this customization on any of my bunnies. So when I was able to snatch this girl, I was shook because I think she sold out within like the first like five minutes. It was crazy. Actually, I think it was faster than that. It's like two minutes. Insane. I cannot believe I managed to get her. And then here she is in her adorable little scarf from Mr. Bobby's Models. She's so cute, man. Overall, I think I'd rate this girl a solid infinity out of 10. Oh wow, she is so beautiful. I've wanted one like this for so long and she's a bunny. Like she's got everything going right for her. Hopefully y'all enjoy your close up of Peppermint Mocha. She could possibly be my favorite bunny, but Kicker is always gonna hold that spot because Kicker was my first bunny. So Kicker will always be the queen of the bunnies, but this could be like the princess. Princess Peppermint. All right y'all, so that's actually gonna be the end of today's YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed and if you did please go slap that like button as hard as you possibly can to show this youtube video and peppermint a little bit of love also if you're feeling exotic please don't forget to check out my instagram account which is at infinity underscore briars i post on there daily and i'm super active on there don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on an upload because at one point castles and cops episode two will be coming out i literally just have to finish one more set and like here's some sneak peeks of of the sets that are coming, but like, it's taking a while. It's literally, I, I don't know why I did this to myself. It's taking forever, but as soon as I'm done with it, then I can start filming. So we are so close, y'all. We are almost there. Castles and Cops episode two is heading your way. I'd say in the next week or two. So be sure to keep your eye out for that. Should she appear in the background? I feel like that'd be cute. And other than that, y'all, I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Bye. We rise up from the dust and clean my throat. All right, this one's all ready to go. Thank you for helping me deliver these peppermint. I really appreciate it. Uh, you're welcome. Getting a head start on Valentine's Day is always important. That's exactly what I say. I know. I'll go deliver this right now. Thank you. I have a letter for you, Loki. <sighs> <laughs> Jedi, you have to stop sending me these. But why? It's not Valentine's Day yet, and you've sent me five already. And they all say the exact same thing. Hmm. Looks like my job here's done. I'm probably gonna have to go deliver mail somewhere else. <laughs>